Mark, here you are in Istanbul, the capital city of one of the oldest empires of the world, the Ottoman Empire. Well, what's that building right there? It's the palace where the Ottoman emperors were living. And for your information, the harem was also in there. The harem? Yeah. Before the Ottomans, this was the center of Rome. When Rome fell, the Roman Empire moved here and they held it for nearly a thousand years. So if I've got it right, you've got the Black Sea, which is essentially where Russia is coming from. You come down the Bosporus River to the Sea of Marmara, Marmar. which is now in front of us. Yeah. Then it narrows down into the Dardanelles. Dardanelles. And, and into the, the Asian. Asian, which and to then, us is a Mediterranean as well. And when the Ottoman Empire closes this off because the British have made them angry, Russia needs help. So they appeal to the British and they come up with the idea of, we'll, we'll make this government fall. We'll sail through the Dardanelles. We'll bombard Istanbul and the Turks will, will fall. Actually, we were allies with the British, but they, they started to see the Turks as the sick men of Europe, useless. So they turned their backs <laughs> and German consul that's right there, uh -huh. we will go and see the German consulate took advantage of this. Right. The German consulate right on the edge of the Bosphorus was very much more active than the British consulate in Istanbul, in the city. Because we were allies with the British but they were not accepting the Turkish delegates in London. Whereas here, the Kaiser himself was coming all the way from Germany and giving a special visit to the Sultan. And they were also training Turkish military, the naval officers, you know, the army. They were all learning from the Germans and they had German officers taking over key positions, including one, I understand, that had belonged to the British. Exactly. Admiral Olympus was responsible from the defense lines of the Dardanelles. The British had the Dardanelles in their hands. But of course, after the blunders of the uh, British diplomacy, they were all sacked. And Dardanelles, the defense of Dardanelles, was given to Liman von Sanders, the German commander. It's almost like the British just didn't care whether they kept or lost the Dardanelles, you know? They didn't really do anything to try and keep the, keep the peace with Turkey. And... But ultimately, the British did value it. They paid a heavy price, as did you know, the Turkish people quarter million casualties at the Liverpool. You are very right, Jim. But we also paid a very high price to protect the Dardanelles and to protect our capital city, Istanbul. But we not only won the war, but also we won our leader, who is the founding president of this modern Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. The whole nation united around him and everything changed after the Gallipoli campaign. 